Hey guys, all right, so now we're gonna look at the grid system a little more. We're gonna create these blocks. All right, so each one of these is a four column div. Down here we have, I believe, um, an, eight, an eight column div here and another four column. So let's look at that. If we go to our HTML, we wanna go below the Jumbotron div. And we're going to create a container. And this container is basically going to hold everything. It's going to start here and go all the way over and it's going to contain everything. And then we're going to break out of the container and do the footer. So inside of the container, uh, we want to create a row. And this row is going to contain the three blocks. So inside of the row, we want to have three, four column blocks. So we do this with div class equals col md 4. Okay, so that's one. Inside of the blocks, uh, we're going to have a class for the colors. So this one's going to be have a class of blue box. This will have a class of red block of red box. Okay, so the first one's going to be blue. So div class equals blue box. And inside of the blue box, we want an H3 tag. And this H3 will be learn then we want a paragraph uh, the paragraph I'm gonna grab some dummy text and throw it in there one second okay whoop oh, I only copied one word All right, so there's our paragraph. Let's see. Under the paragraph, we want to have a read more link. So we're gonna create a link. All right, so let's copy this. We're gonna copy from the, the column div. And we wanna create two more. So if we save that, okay, so you can see our columns are already styled for us. We didn't have to do any floats or anything like that. So that's what's really good about Bootstrap. It takes all that work out. All right, so let's go back. And now we wanna add the backgrounds. So we'll do blue box first. So let's see, we need a background of 2E98CC. I'm going to do an overflow of hidden. And we're going to give, the, uh, give these boxes a height because we want them all to be the same height. So I'm going to do 230 pixels and the color of the text is going to be white. Uh, we're going to have a little padding. We'll do zero top and bottom and 10 pixels left and right. And then we want the font size to be a little bigger. So we're going to say 120%. All right, oh, so the middle one we forgot to change to red box. Okay, so now we need the, we need to style the read more button. 
so we're going to say blue box a dot read more did I even give it that class I didn't so for the read more links we want to add a class to those and I'm just going to call it read more so all of them should have that Okay. All right. So the read more is going to be positioned absolute, and that's going to be from the bottom 15 pixels, and from the left um, 30 pixels, and the background is going to be a, a blue but just a, a, s a slightly different shade which is going to be uh, 2B8 CBC and add some padding padding is going to be 10 pixels top and bottom uh, 15 pixels left and right and the color will be white And then we want to just have a hover effect. So let's copy that. And we want to put a colon and then hover. And we're just going to change the background a little bit when it's hovered. So for that, we want uh, 20749D. All right, now I'm going to copy all this. And we need to make our red box. So we just need to change a couple things. Make sure these all say red. And obviously we need to change the color. So the red box is going to be CA2129. Uh, the read more is going to be uh, BF1E. Two, six. And then finally the hover is going to be uh, 86161B. Uh, so that looks good. Let's save this. Okay, so we have our hovers. Um, I guess that positioning doesn't really look too good. Uh, All right, I think that that's because of the width, because if we make it bigger, that looks good. So we're going to have to just later on create, create, a, create a media query so that when it gets to this size, the buttons are moved down further. So uh, let's work with it. I thought it was at full size, but I guess not. So we're just going to work with it now at full size. All right, so that looks good. Next thing we want to do is we want to create another row with a eight column div and a four column div. Okay, so let's go back and we want to go, we want to start under the last row, which is this div. Okay. Okay, so let's do another div. Class is going to be row. And let's create our column div. So div class equals col dash md dash eight. That's the main content div. Now we're going to have the four column div, which is the sidebar. So let's start in here. Uh, what we want to do here is use a panel. So if we go to the Bootstrap site, uh, on the components, where is it? Panels, where are they? Right here, panel. 
All right, so let's see. By default, the, the dot panel class, it applies some basic border and padding to some content. Um, down here, we have a panel with, with a heading. So this area here is a heading and then the panel content. And that's what we want with our design, which is, if we look at the finished template, this here. Okay, this is a panel. Uh, we want the heading to be blue. So let's actually grab that. This one and this one. Oh, so I, yeah, I actually want this version because this has the H3 tag. You can see this title is bigger than this one. I think in the finished template I used this, but I'm actually going to grab this. Okay, a little code formatting. So we have our panel, panel heading is, let's see, what I just had what's happening in the world. So this would basically just be a, a, a roll of news news or blog post something like that all right so the content actually let's save that see what that looks like all right so you can see here it's these two rows have no padding uh, I actually like to create a padding class so if we go to this row that's holding what we're doing now in the, in the eight column div I'm just gonna add a class call um, PAD PAD top 20 actually PAD top dash 20 okay so now all this all this div is gonna do I'm sorry this class is gonna do is give some top padding of 20 percent 20 pixels so I'm going to do that up at the top, and we can use that anywhere. So it's padding top, 20 pixels, and I might as well create a couple other sizes while I'm at it. Okay, so we'll have 10 pixels, 20, and 30. All right, so now if we go back and relo reload, we have our padding. I'm actually gonna make it 30, not 20. There we go. All right, so let's add our panel content. And you can see the content has a class of panel-body. And what I'm gonna do here is paste in some uh, media content. So, the reason I'm going to use media is, is the formatting of it. I think it's in the components section. Um, maybe it's in CSS. Let's see. Uh, I can't find it. Button groups. Huh. Oh, media object right here. All right, so it's an abstract object styles for building various types of components like blog comments, tweets, etc. So you can see how it's formatted with an image and then a heading and then the paragraph. All right, so I like that style so that's I'm going to use uh, meteor object so I'm going to grab this all right so you can see that this here uh, the image is in a tag is in a uh, link tag and it has a class of pull left and what that does is it's going to float it to the left. We could also use pull right 
if we want to float content to the right. So you don't have to write your own classes for floating. So for the image, it's going to be uh, dot dot slash images. I'm sorry, we don't want the dot dot. Just images slash small one dot jpeg. And for the alt, um, I don't know, I'm just going to write small image. And then down here we have the media body with an H4. And I'm just going to paste some code in there, some paragraph code. I think we can now just copy this. So let's copy from media. And we want to add three of these. And just change, we're going to change the images. This is small two, small three. Okay, it looks good. Let's see what that looks like. All right. So there's a few things that we need to do to get it to look like this. We need to make it blue, okay, the, the panel heading. And we need to make these rounded images. You can see you can take any image and make it rounded with CSS3. So let's go to our CSS. Go down here. And let's see. Uh, for the media body, we oh, need a class. Let's see. Media body, our font size is going to be a little bigger. It's going to be uh, 120%. Okay. Now I want to change the, the background of the heading, so let's do class uh, panel primary, and we want the panel heading. And give that a background, and that's going to be uh, 2E98CC. Okay, let's save that. All right, so the text is bigger. Uh, the heading didn't change. Panel heading. I'm not sure why that didn't change. All right, so it's still reading the bootstrap. Let me make sure I get the right classes. Whoop. All right, so let's add important to this. So it overwrites bootstrap. All right, there we go. And we need the text to be white. There we go. All right, so now let's make these images rounded. And actually, all we need to do to do that, we don't even need to touch the CSS. We just got to add a class. Let's see, image class meteor object. We want to add image rounded. I think that should work. Or not. IMG rounded. Huh. Let me try. Actually, yeah, that's the rounded corners. I'm sorry. We need circle. All right. So now you can see it's circular. So let's add that to the other images as well. Um, image all right 
So we have our, our main content area. I think it's a good place to stop. Uh, in the next video, we'll do our sidebars. So we'll go over lists. Um, and we'll also add some custom uh, styling as well. So we'll do that next.